hey, hey, it's Monday, yay. So in his book, Atomic Habits, James Clear talks about, you don't rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. And that got me to thinking about one time when I unknowingly (laughs) set some systems in place that really helped me achieve some pretty awesome results. And I didn't even set goals for awesome results. So my son is getting ready to go back for his final year of college. It's his senior year and he's getting his bachelor's and he's getting all ready to go. And I've been thinking a lot about him getting ready to go off to college and finish off his year and how it was for me my final year of high school. It's been a minute or more since high school. But I remember that I was actually a pretty lazy student. Um, I was somebody that didn't typically get good grades and I kind of identified myself as somebody that struggled as a student, somebody that just didn't do real well as a student. And I decided that I wasn't going to do that anymore. My senior year, I said, you know what, I'm going to do whatever it takes to just get good grades. I want to have a good final year. I didn't set a goal to get a 4.0 or to get A's or anything. I just said to myself, it's my last year. I know that I'm not going to go off to college. I'm not going to do anything exciting. I just want to get good grades. I just want the last year to be good. And I kind of unknowingly put some systems in place. I didn't know what I was doing. I was 17. I just knew that I made a decision to identify as a good student. I didn't want to be that person anymore that wasn't a good student. I was tired of that. I was tired of being labeled as the kid that wasn't smart. So I got help. (laughs) I reached out. I put systems in place. I put support systems with teachers and academic people to help me. And I just said, I'm gonna get good grades. Well, I also started changing my habits because I had not studied well. I didn't have a system of when am I gonna study? When a test is coming up, a lot of times I would just go, "Eh, well, this is how this is gonna go. And that's where I would leave it. I would just decide, okay, well, I'm not gonna do good on this on this because I didn't really study for it. Well, at the end of the year, I, I, and remember, I just set up a goal to just be a good student. I was like, I'm just going to be, I'm just going to do what I can to be a good student. I just want to be a good student my last year. I want to feel good about my grades. Well, at the end of the year, my parents got a letter that said I was invited to an awards ceremony and they wanted them there. And I was like, I've never been invited to an awards assembly and I don't know what I did. And it didn't say in the letter what I had done. But it turns out that I had achieved the highest GPA difference in the the school year in my senior class. So I had the most improved GPA. I got a 3.95 from a (laughs) 1.8. And I did not set a goal out to be the most improved. I didn't set a goal to get my GPA up. I just set in my mind, determined, I didn't even set a goal. I just determined that I was going to be a good student and that I wanted that last year to be good. So I would love to hear from you. What systems are you rising to? Do you have systems in place that are going to support the new you, the new habits, the new you that you're identifying as. Remember, I identified as a good student, that I was going to be a good, caring student who cared about her grades. So what are you identifying as right now with your goals in mind? Um, And what systems are you putting in place? Remember, you're gonna rise or fall to the systems you have in place. And if you're thinking, I don't know what to do with any of this, I have no clue where to start, then why not check out my Build It series where we actually take you through the steps on how to build your confidence, change your thoughts, change your habits, get your systems in place 
so that you can achieve your goals, so that you can live out your dreams. Have a great Building Your Momentum Monday.